how's it feel to be back? It's amazing. I mean, um, I definitely missed this place uh, last year while I was gone, and being back in the summer was so amazing for me just to get my feet under me and back in the routine of things. And um, you know, with it being my last year and knowing what I was missing last year when I was away, um, definitely taking in every moment. But tell us a little bit about that experience. I mean. That must have been amazing. What was it like for you? Yeah, the whole year was pretty incredible. I mean, I got to live out my childhood dream, so I can't say enough good things. And uh, obviously being able to go to the Olympics mm -hmm. was my childhood dream. And, um, you know, the support that I got from here throughout that whole process was amazing. What was your favorite part of it all, do you think? Of the Olympics? Or just, yeah, the entire experience of getting to train for that, getting to be a part of the team mm -hmm. of the Olympics. What was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part is definitely walking in the opening ceremonies because that was when it was real. Like you were an Olympian walking in with Team Canada, not just your hockey teammates, but as Team Canada as a whole. And then um, I think being able to have my parents there is really special too. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Uh, Emily, uh, Annie didn't quite get or have the same experience you did. Uh, have you talked to her much about that? And even last year when maybe things weren't panning out quite for her, like maybe she wanted them to. I mean, from your perspective, what do you think she kind of went through uh, last year as well? Yeah, of course. I mean, going through the year. Um, you know, we're in similar positions, so we definitely talked a lot throughout the year. And, you know, I think what people don't understand is it's a stressful year as much as it's exciting because it's a year-long tryout. So, um, you know, it was obviously really unfortunate what happened to her. But I think in sports when something like that happens, you know, you can do one of two things. And um, I'm extremely proud of how hard she's worked all summer. And, um, you know, she is an elite athlete, and um, she brings work ethic into everything she does, and especially getting ready for this season. So I'm excited to see what she shows. Is this a national championship team uh, that you guys are assembling right now? Uh, I don't know if I was, I'll comment on that, but um, <laughs> it's definitely an exciting group. Um, you know, it's a little bit younger than teams that I've been on in the past, and um, I've gotten to know the girls quite a bit over the summer and just in the few team practices that we've had. But uh, it's an exciting group. We have a ton of depth, and um, I'm really excited for Friday to see how we show against a different team. It's a pretty unique situation to come back to playing college hockey after playing in the Olympics. Does, did you have any mentors to help you um, navigate that transition to Olympic back to college? Yeah, I've had a ton of mentors. Um, you know, I haven't, I'm not sure if I have anyone that's done the exact same process, but um, you know, I have a lot of people in my corner that's made the transition as smooth as possible. Did you get any specific advice that really helped you through that for the last couple of years? Um, the last couple of years, well, I mean, Carla McLeod's a big mentor of mine, and she mm -hmm. was a Badger herself and um, has gone through the Olympic process twice. So, um, you know, she was a big uh, support all last year and, um, you know, going through some of those tough days when, you know, it is a tryout for four or five mm -hmm. months. So, um, and then she didn't, she played in the Olympics when she was done college, so she didn't come back to college hockey after. But, um, you know, the advice that I've gotten from players like Augusta uh, is just to enjoy it you know what it's like not having it so mm -hmm. I'm pretty lucky to be able to have my senior year to play out. Uh, the fans necessarily haven't seen you play competitive hockey on this ice in a while. Um, how, how would you describe your improvements that you've made since the last time you saw you've seen you play here? <laughs> uh, yeah I think you know last year just focusing on hockey for an entire year and training for the Olympics uh, I grew a lot as a person and a player so um, you know they can expect a pretty similar game for me and I'm definitely excited for puck drop on Friday. Does the uh, Olympic medal, does that stay under lock and key, or does that come out from time to time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I got it. It spends most of its time in a little sock on my dresser at home, so it doesn't come out too much unless it's um, no at home going on a little kid's skate or something like that, but it's pretty cool mm -hmm. to... Um, you know, if you see there, even though it's silver, it's not the color I was hoping for and worked for, but, um, you know, when you see kids' faces light up and they think it's pretty cool, so I think it's pretty cool, too.